In this video you will learn how to paint the new Soros Knights mainly with contrast colors. Hello, this is 60 Goblins in one brush with another Seraphin video, with another how to paint video. We have here my new Soros Knight. It's an old knight on a new cold one. It's the cold one from the Dark Elves Drake's Bond Knights kit. What I changed is I elongated the tail a little bit with green stuff and plastic putty and I narrowed the saddle and then glued the Soros on without the shield because it's easier to paint the guy without the shield or to paint the shield separately. Watch my first video how I put this together and now the second video how to paint it. You could of course take some kind of green or turquoise like Thousand Suns, Thousand Suns Blue and then shade it with Quillia Green Shade and then dry brush it with a lighter blue like Temple Guard but I will attempt to do it with contrast. I like the contrast colors especially for uh, battle line units. We have here Terradon turquoise and Achillean green. They're both turquoise. Another two colors that are really nice are Ethermatic blue and Talasa blue. Most reptiles have a yellowish off-white belly. So we'll try this with iron and yellow. Okay, I'll take my Soros Knight and I start with the belly in iron and yellow and the top with a mixture of ethermatic blue so that it's not too dark. And I will try out both tarot and turquoise and Achillean green. Let's have a look what looks better. Achillean green here is more blue. That one. And this is tarot and turquoise, it's greener. So this is better, Terracon Turquoise, I, I like it in a greenish turquoise. The Achillean Green is actually more bluish turquoise, is best color for death units, but now we want Reptile. Okay, that's it. After one layer of Terracon Turquoise mixed with a little bit of Ethermatic Blue and Iron and Yellow on the bottom. Don't worry if the colors mix, mix and mingle a little bit. Doesn't matter. To the contrary, it looks more natural. So while we let this dry, I will use Talasa blue for the Soros himself. Okay, that's the Soros and Talasa blue. And also the arm inside of the shield. Now I think it needs a little bit more green. So I will use more Terradon Turquoise with a little bit of Ethermatic Blue. It's too light colored still. Okay, that's more like it. Now we neaten up where there's too much Turquoise in the yellow field with Grace here and apply a little bit more Iron and Yellow on where we corrected the mistakes with the grace here. Meanwhile we can, while all this is drying, we can paint the shield inside and outside with Flesh Terrors Red or any other dark red except the gold parts and except the blue arm. So that's the shield in red. Okay that's it and then we paint all the metal parts in gold. I always use Retributor armor. Okay, that's the gold parts now. Don't be stingy with the gold. One problem the Soros, the Slan never had. The Seraphon was a money issues. They don't have money issues. They have plenty of gold and they have no use for it. And here the shield from outside and inside. Now you can fix all the mistakes if you splotch the gold somewhere where it doesn't belong. Then we take Steel Legion Trap for all the leather parts, including the saddle. Okay, that's it. I also decided to paint the tip of both the tails in gold 
and the part where I fused the tails I painted in gold as well to hide the inconsistency. Okay, now I will paint the haft of the spear in wildwood brown and the top in Achillean green. You can also use the wildwood for all the straps to shade the straps on the shield and on the beast. Okay, what's left? The base in Caliban green and the rim in black. The eyes of both dinosaurs in mood green and the teeth and the claws in wraithbone. Okay, while all this is drying, we'll take Bieltan green, the shade, and shade the shield. Where is it? On the red parts. This is a simple method with a very good effect. Red and green, one of the few times where it really fits well together. Okay, you'll see it later on a better picture. Then we mix uh, Drakenhof Nightshade with some medium for the Soros Warrior, for the rider. Here, it takes away the glossiness of the Talassa Blue and gives it some more shade in the recesses. I also added a second layer Achillean Green for the Obsidian Spear Tip. Then you can shade all the bone parts with Skeleton Horde or Seraphim Sepia. Then I dry brush the cold one with Sybarite Green, the belly of the cold one with Morgas Bone, and the Soros Warrior himself with some kind of light blue turquoise. Why not the good old Temple Guard Blue? Okay, that already looks quite nice. What you can't see is the eyes, so we put a dollop of yellow on top of the light green. Also, the belly is still not light enough. We use some yellow to dry brush the belly. And if you want to take it any further here, yeah, then you can use any light yellow or wraith bone on top, dry brushing the belly. This highlighting step you can take as far as you like, right? Ever lighter colors like Blue Horror or Baharoth Blue or so for the highlighting of the rider and so on. I will not do it now because I will want to do a little bit of speed painting for these battle line units. The only thing that I will do still is glue on some shrubs and tufts on here, then highlight or shade, I mean shade the gold with Brightland Flash Gloss and paint this feather here in light green and orange. If you like you can dry brush the red on the shield with Evil Sun Scarlet or something, some medium red. The two last steps are Put any kind of shade or contrast on the Caliban green here and then sprinkle grass on top and then we need, ah yeah, the arm is missing, <laughs> um, the shield. Shave off the color on both sides of the arm, then the glue, the plastic glue will stick better. Okay, that's it, the finished model. The longer tail looks really nice, I think, but sooner or later someone will grab it on the tail, you save probably, and then it will break off, so I'm not sure it's worth it. But it's quite nice also, the thing um, that worked quite well with the plastic putty. So, okay, let's look at some pictures. Okay, I really enjoyed that experiment. Yeah. It's quite nice, the yellow belly, the green turquoise of the beast in comparison to the blue rider. The contrast colors worked really well. And here a few nature pictures and a comparison to the old Soros Knight. That's it for today. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Hit the bell button and see you very soon.